हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू इंजीनियर्स एकेडमी काइंडली सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल इफ यू हैव हैवेंट सब्सक्राइब इट येट नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू सॉल्व दिस वन अदर प्रॉब्लम फ्रॉम डिपेंडेंट मोशन इन दिस प्रॉब्लम इट इज सेड दैट इफ द एंड ऑफ द केबल एट ए इज पुल्ड डाउन विद स्पीड ऑफ टू मीटर पर सेकेंड डिटरमाइन द स्पीड एट विच ब्लॉक बी राइज सो टू सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम फर्स्ट वी नीड to select or choose a point in this whole mechanism which will remain fixed right so we have to select a point or a reference line from which we will define we will measure the position of each and every moving object right so if we observe this whole mechanism then we can see that the center of this pulley right the center of this pulley d will remain fixed right so if i draw a horizontal line so that will be our datum line this will be our datum line or reference line from which we will measure uh, the position of this pulley c and the position of uh, this pulley with which this block b is attached from we will measure the position of this arm right so now as we can see that uh, when this part of the rope is pulled down so what will happen is this pulley c will move up and this this pulley with which this block b is attached it will move up as well right so if this part of the rope is pulled down so what will happen is the length of this rope will increase right so we say that this in the downward direction we say that uh, that is the positive sense of the motion of this arm right we say that in the downward direction uh, the position that is measured will be in the positive sense right so let's say that the position of uh, this arm from this datum line is let's say represented by sa similarly the position of uh, this block b will be measured uh, from this datum line until the center of this particular pulley as we can see that uh, this part the length of this part will remain the same right it, it is not going to change right so we can measure the distance from this datum line until this point since this particular point will define the position of this block b right so now we can say that from here to here from the from the datum line until this this will be the position of this block b so let's say this is sb and the downward motion of block b will be assumed as positive right and similarly uh, as we can see that uh, when this rope will be pulled down so what will happen is that the length of this part of the rope and the length of this part of the rope will change right and let's say that uh, that change in length is represented by let's say sc right and as we know that this pulley c will move upward right so the position of this pulley c will be measured uh, through this sc position right so through this variable so now since we have uh, two cables this is cable number 1 let's say from here to here this is cable number 1 and this is cable 2 so we have to write two equations right so i have to write cable 1 so for cable 1 this will be sa so i have to write sa plus this length which is sc and plus this length which is sc so this will become 2 sc so 2 sc this will be equal to the length of cable 1 right so if we take the derivative then this will be dsa by dt plus 2 dsc by dt equals to dl1 by dt so this will give us the velocity of the arm right or uh, the this point a right so this will be va plus 2 vc right vc is the velocity of this pulley and since the the cable length is constant so that will give us zero right so the derivative will be zero so now we have to write for cable 2 as well cable 2 so now this is cable 2 right this one so we can write that this will be sb right so i have to write as b plus this length this length is this will be this sb minus sc so this is s 
B minus S C. So, I have to write plus S B minus S C and this will be equal to 0. This will become 2 S B minus S C equals to 0. Sorry, this is this is not equal to 0. This is the length of cable 2. Right? This is the length of cable 2. So, now if we take the derivative then this will become 2 V B minus V C and since the length uh, the length of cable 2 is not changing as well so this will become 0 right the derivative of this with respect to time will be 0 right so now in the problem statement we are required to find the velocity of this clock b when this hand is pulled down with a velocity of 2 meter per second right so now from this we can see we can say that vc is equal to 2 vb and if i substitute this in this equation then we can say that V A plus 2 and V C is 2 V B equals to 0. This is V A plus 4 V B equals to 0 and we are required to find V B. Right. So, this is 4 V B minus V A and V B equals to minus V A divided by 4 and as we can see that the positive sense of the motion of this arm is in the downward direction and here we are given that the velocity of point A cable at A is pulled down with a speed of 2 meter per second. So, this means that V A is in the downward direction. So, that will be 2 meter per second and that is positive right. So, the downward direction is positive. So, now we can say that this V B will be equal to minus V A is 2 and this is 4. So, from this we get V B equals to minus 0 0.5 meter per second. So, now the minus sign tell us that uh, V B will be moving in the negative sense of its defined position coordinate right. This is the position coordinate of that block B and the positive sense is in the downward direction right. So, the negative sign tells us that when this hand is pulled down in the with 2 meter per second velocity then what will happen is that this block B will move up with uh, 0.5 meter per second right. So, we can say that V B is equal to 0 0.5 meter per second in the upward direction. So, this is the solution of this particular problem. I hope you people would have understood uh, this particular solution. Kindly subscribe my channel and like these videos if you people want me to solve such more problem from engineering dynamics.